so hi guys this is mad and we are again back with one more video in this video let's discuss discuss about that what are the various companies that come for mtech for jobs uh, and also we will discuss something about the salary that these companies provide after mtech and the last point that we will look is how to apply for getting recruited in these companies so guys let's start so first of all after mtech uh, you can think of two things like one is going to the private sector the second one is going to the public sector but guys uh, there is one more thing yes you can go for higher studies like phd but we won't be discussing that scenario in this particular video so let's stick to private sector companies and public sector companies for this video let's start with the private sector companies so the companies like for example for mechanical guys the companies that come for recruitment in mtech are like gm general motors ge general electric rolls royce then there are companies like cummins tvs tata motors mercedes bosch etc similarly for computer science guys the companies that are coming is like google amazon samsung flipkart oracle etc similarly companies are for electronics civil electrical now apart from these private companies there are public sectors but for that you have to give gate and companies are like ntpc ongc bhel iocl dvc dvc is damodar valley corporation etc they take from gate but there are other public sectors that are in conducting their own exams like isro bark npcil ecil so these were the list of some private and public companies now what is the process of getting recruited into a private company so yes first is for example you are getting selected by a campus recruitment that is there but otherwise first step is apply online on the company's career website that is the first step if you are applying like after your college second thing is now after applying you will get a call from the company for a telephonic interview after that the third step will be that they will call you for face to face technical interview if you pass the telephonic one or they will have a written examination or they can have both the last round will be hr round and finally it will be your selection so guys this was a very generic recruitment processes that is followed in most of the private companies it might differ from company to company but yes this is the general steps like getting applying on the company website getting call for telephonic interview face to face rounds hr round and the final selections so this was the recruitment process now this was about public private sector what about public sector so for the public sectors for companies like ntpc ongc iocl bhel dvc you have to give gate examination so gate examination is mandatory for the these public sector companies they recruit on the base of gate examination so to get the details of this you have to visit the gate website please guys please please visit the gate website for the details also you need to visit the individual company website like for example go to ntpc go to ntpc website and see the details like what is the age limit what is the marks percentage criteria and all other criterias there you will get the answer for all these questions so guys please visit their website now if i talk about the salary what is the average salary that uh, one will get after doing masters so if i talk about the mechanical guys the average salary is like around 6 to 7 lakhs per annum but guys this what i'm telling is it's very general it might be higher for some it might be lower for someone but this is the general average salary that one gets after doing mtech so it's not a very hard and fast rule that okay i will get 6 to 7 lakhs only you can get even 14 you can get even 5 like for cs it's a little bit higher 8 to 10 lakhs for electronics it's like 7 to 9 lakhs per annum psu companies now that was for the private psu companies have their pay packages ranging from 8 lakh to 16 lakhs per annum so that was a very generic idea about the salaries so guys please subscribe to med to get notified about more videos and guys we know that you like interactive videos you don't like these kind of videos where we are not coming behind the camera and we also like interacting with you guys but due to time crunch and all of us me amit is a little bit busy but definitely in the coming weeks we will come behind the camera and we will interact we will have some live videos so till then please keep supporting us and please subscribe to med thank you